brain. You should get to know me. I'll teach you other stuff. I'm Madeline, I'm Madeline. I may be very small. I'm Madeline, I'm Madeline, but inside I'm tall. She may be teeny tiny, tippin' and tippin' deep, but that has never stopped her from being pretty neat. Dum 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 Madeline, Madeline. She's Madeline. She's Madeline. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines, lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. They left the house at half past nine. In rain or shine. Indeed. Lord Cuckoo Face, what a surprise. Hmm. It is just an old shutter that needs fixing. You brought guests. Yes. May I present Madame Baguette and Madame Fromage from the Historical Society? They have come to tour this old house. Bonjour. What darling little girls. Please, do come in. Oui, oui, certainement. Oh, quaint. Oui, how charming. Excusez-moi, mesdames, but this is not the kitchen. <laughs> Must we have all these pots and pans? Ah, but every old house has a drip or two, n'est-ce pas? Then the visit turned into disaster, starting with a piece of plaster. Thousand pardons, madame. Please say you're all right. Uh, oui, oui. Nothing to worry about. Come, ladies. I think we should put this off for another day. Nonsense. We came to see the house. The madames ignored his lordship's advice. <coughs> and were not impressed with much. Oh! <coughs> Though Madeline said they were nice. Vermin! Shoo! 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 Go away! Go away! <coughs> oh dear! Let him rest while we see the upstairs. But the tour continued not so well when Madame Baguette slid down and fell. Oh dear, oh 
Oh, dear. Cried Miss Clavel. Then Lord Cuckoo Face announced the selling of the house he thought unfit for dwelling. We must find these girls a more suitable place to live. Oh, oh, you cannot, cannot mean, mean that. that, dear old house. I am sure a few nails and roof tiles. I have made up my mind. Start packing, Miss Clavel. This house is too old and too dangerous. But we love our house. Where will we go? Do not worry. There is a lovely apartment above mine where you can stay until I find you a new house. But Lord Cuckoo Face, we have not seen the salon or the parlor or the... Really, madame? You have seen quite enough. Lord Cuckoo Face had made up his mind, leaving twelve sad girls and their dog behind. <laughs> We had better start packing. Moving is tiresome, moving is hard. They piled up everything they owned in the yard. <coughs> they packed their clothing, books, and all said goodbye to the mice in the hall. Goodbye, Monsieur Mice. <laughs> but the hardest farewell they had in store was to Pepito, their friend next door. So it is true? You are moving? Oui, <laughs> Pepito, it is true. Far, far away, like to London? No, just across town. Then I will come visit. You will? See, si, and we can write every day. Please, give me your address. Mais oui, every day. Here. Madeline. The moment had come, and no one was glad, with Madeline feeling especially sad. As the taxis departed in one sad straight line, Lord Cuckoo Face put up a house condemned sign. Danger! House condemned! Do not enter! Ay, ay, ay! He's going to tear it down! In the meantime, the taxis all drove through the city to a street where the houses were square and not pretty. Is this where we are to live? Remember, little girls, it is always hard to move. Oh dear, look at all the rules! Just because things are different does not mean that they are bad. But, Miss Clavel, it says no barking dogs allowed. Genevieve is not a dog. She is Genevieve. <laughs> but that sign was no more than the first indication <laughs> that the flat would not live up to their expectation. At night, they tried to break their bread. Oh, 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 we love our bread, we love our butter, but most of all, we love our old house. And tried to brush their teeth. And go to bed. But there was more to complain about. The kitchen made Mrs. Murphy pout. Bonjour, little mouse. Bonjour. And the mice made Madeline want to shout. <laughs> And 
for a dog? <gasps> Life could be hard without a grassy, large backyard. This place is terrible. I hate How it. can we live here? I want to go home. What an impossible kitchen. <laughs> Please, please, s'il vous plaît. This is our home now, and we should be thankful to be here together. Home is not about large. Home is not about small. Home isn't the color of paint on the wall. Home is not about old. Home is not about new. Home is having the ones you love close to you. Home is where the heart is, the heart is, the heart is. Home is where the heart is, if your heart is there, it's home. Home is not about rich, home is not about poor. Home isn't the carpet you put on the floor. You don't need a marble staircase in each room. You just need a clean place to hum a nice tune. Home is where the heart is, the heart is, the heart is. Home is where the heart is, if your heart is there. It's home is where the heart is, the heart is, the heart is. Home is where the heart is, if your heart is there. Enough work. Let us go for a walk. My, my, look at the time. Oh! There were no bells to toll the time, so they missed their walk at half past nine. Instead, they left at ten to three to find a park and climb a tree. But things did not go as expected. When a truck and the Genevieve almost connected. And the park was really quite neglected. <laughs> it's shut down from there! Stop, Stop well, it! Nice. Are you responsible for these horrid children? Madame, I am sorry if the little girls are bothering you. They are only being little girls. Come, mes enfants. We will find another park. Let us go somewhere else. We oui, where there are swings. And merry-go-rounds. And friendly people. Ah! Dogs! I hate dogs! So they went back home to the balcony to play. <laughs> but we're in for another shock later that day. Could we have our ball back? You horrible children! When did you move in here? <laughs> what is that awful racket? <gasps> this cannot be! There must be a rule about too many noisy little girls! <gasps> We? What about them? They are our neighbors! Oh, dear. I know! We will have them for tea. Then they will see we are good neighbors. We? Oui, what a good How idea! How can they not like us? Yes, that is true! Yes, yes, yes! The next day at four, the girls gave a tea. Their china was shiny with bright fleur de lis. Would you care for a biscuit? Perhaps a pastry? You let the dogs touch your linen? Disgusting! A health infraction, surely. Hush, Genevieve. He is very rude. Wait, it is an almond. Look! They knew their tea.
tea had not gone right when each and every guest took flight. Poor Genevieve was most contrite. It is not your fault, Genevieve. They are horrid neighbors. Why are they so mean to Genevieve? She is such a wonderful dog. <laughs> now who could that be? What is this? What are all these signatures? Everyone in the building assigned this petition requesting that the girls must be absolutely silent and that dangerous menace must go. <gasps> what? Oh no! It is from Pepito! What does it say? Tell us, Madeline! <gasps> they are tearing down our old house! It <gasps> cannot be! But Pepito's news was, alas, sadly true. The old house they called home would meet a wrecking crew. sad about our poor old house. Let us go for a walk. Maybe it will help us feel better. In two straight lines, they prayed to stall that horrid, dreaded wrecking ball. that would restore their calm was the cathedral, Notre Dame. Madeline! Madeline, look! It is Notre Dame! Oui, I see. But why is it covered with scaffolding? It is so old that they must fix it up all the time so it can remain beautiful. Ah oui, je comprends. It is beautiful. <gasps> look! The ladies from the Historical Society! Seeing those ladies with their hair all blue gave Madeline a notion of what they could do. Of course! What, Madeline? What is it? Miss Clavel, Miss Clavel! May we? A brilliant idea, Madeline. Back at the old house, the clock was ticking as the workmen prepared the dear maison for wrecking. operator felt very befuddled when he saw the collection of folks in a huddle. The good ladies of the Historical Society have made me see the value of this old house. We should not destroy it. We should restore it. <laughs> and to add to the confusion, Madame produced a resolution. <clears throat> this old house an historic site of Paris. Because of Madeline's persistence and the ladies' fine assistance, their dear old house would stay in existence. <laughs> <laughs> we do still have quite a lot of work to do, do we not? Quite right, Miss Clavel, quite right. twist of the screwdriver, tightened the knob, then a few squirts of oil finished the job. <laughs> then they fixed the pipes that leaked, and the many stairs that squeaked while their smallest helpers peeped. Finally, it was the day when they could move back in. Hooray! It is magnifique, and it is all thanks to you, Madeline. 
If you had not warned us his house was in danger, it would now be a heap of rubble. It is fabulous. Better than I imagined. I have a surprise. I am thinking of buying it. Is it not a beautiful old house? I am tired of my apartment and my neighbors. Oui. Very nice. Lovely. Elle est très belle. We will help you fix it. Oh, oh it's, 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 it's so Yes, it will be magnifique. <laughs> Just like this old house. And then at last they broke their bread. We love our bread, we love our butter, but most of all, we love each other and our own house. Oh, little girls, a house is only a house, but with all of you here, it is truly a home. <laughs> and brushed their teeth and went to bed. Good night, mes petites. I know you will sleep well. Good night. Good night, dear Miss Clavel. They dreamed of what they would next restore. And that's all there is. There isn't any more. Then you should get to know me.